Hello viewers. The title of this video is Plant Tissue Culture Techniques and Applications, which is useful for undergraduate students of botany. Contents of this video Meaning History of plant tissue culture Basics of plant cell and tissue culture Cellular totipotency Culture medium Techniques in plant tissue culture Practical applications of tissue culture Embryo culture, protoplast fusion, and haploid plant production. What do you mean by tissue culture? Tissue culture is the in vitro aseptic culture of cells, tissues, or organs under controlled nutritional and environmental conditions often to produce the clones of the plants. The resultant clones are true to type of the selected genotype. Applications of plant tissue culture The applications are generally come under three categories. That is a basic research, environmental and commercial applications. The basic application covers the concepts in understanding the physiological and molecular pathways in plant cells. Environmental application covers conservation strategies for endangered, threatened and rare species and to preserve the allied germplasm for a longer time. Tissue culture technique have become one of the major area of plant propagation, disease elimination, plant improvement and production of secondary metabolites. History of plant tissue culture In 1902, Heberland proposed the concept of in vitro cell culture. In 1926, Wendt discovered first plant growth hormone that is indole acetic acid. In 1941, Overbeek was first to add coconut milk for cell division in the Tura. In 1955, Skoog and Miller discovered kinetin as cell division hormone. In 1957, Skook and Miller gave the concept of hormonal control of organ formation using auxin and cytokinin. In 1959, Renard and Stewart regenerated embryos from callus clumps and cell, sus cell suspension of carrot. In 1962, Murasuge and Skook developed MS medium. In 1964, Guha and Maheshwari produced first haploid plants from pollen grains of the Tura by anther culture technique. In 1966, Stewart demonstrated totipotency by regenerating carrot plants from single cells. In 1972, Carlson produced the first interspecific hybrid of Nicotiana tabacum by protoplast fusion. In 1977, Chilton and others successfully integrated TA plasmid DNA from agrobacterium in plants. In 1984, Horch and others developed a transgenic tobacco by transformation with agrobacterium. Now let us try to understand the basics of plant, cell and tissue culture. 
the first one is concept of totipotency in plant cell culture plant tissues and organs are grown in vitro on artificial media under aseptic and controlled environment this technique depends mainly on the concept of totipotency the ability of an individual cell to develop into a whole plant is referred to as cellular totipotency the inherent characteristic features of plant cells namely dedifferentiation and redifferentiation are responsible for the phenomenon of totipotency this is the diagrammatic representation of totipotency plant explant explant and nutrient media here callus formation then embryoid formation then embryo formation and lastly plantlet formation the phenomenon of reverting back of mature cells to dividing state or meristematic state is called dedifferentiation now these dedifferentiated cells have the ability to form a whole plant or plant organ this phenomenon is termed as redifferentiation this is the flow chart indicating dedifferentiation and redifferentiation explant with mature non dividing differentiated cells callus with meristematic undifferentiated cells and obtaining new plantlets with differentiated cells here what do you mean by a callus the unorganized and undifferentiated mass of plant cells is referred to as callus generally when plant cells are cultured in a suitable medium they divide to form a callus that is a mass of panchymatous cells culture medium it contains all nutrients required for the normal growth and development of the plants the major constituents of culture medium includes organic supplements inorganic nutrients carbon and energy source growth hormones gelling agents and other organic extracts murasuge and skug medium which is popularly called as ms medium is most extensively used in plant tissue culture important constituents of a culture medium organic supplements it includes vitamins like thiamine pyridoxin nicotinic acid etc amino acids like arginine aspartame inorganic nutrients which includes micronutrients like iron manganese zinc molybdenum copper and boron macronutrients includes nitrogen sulfur phosphorus potassium calcium and magnesium carbon and energy source it includes sucrose lactose maltose galactose etc growth hormones auxins mainly for inducing cell division cytokinins mainly for modifying apical dominance and shooter differentiation abscisic acid used occasionally and gibberellins which are also used occasionally then gelling agents these are added to media to make them semi solid or solid the agents are agar gelatin alginate etc 
other organic extracts includes coconut milk oranges tomato juice potato extract etc techniques in plant tissue culture this is the flow chart first stage selection of explant second one sterilization process third one inoculation fourth one incubation fifth one subculturing sixth one acclimatization and the last stage ta is transfer of plantlets first one the selection of explant the micro propagation starts with the selection of plant tissue that is called explant from a healthy vigorous mother plant any part of the plant can be used as a explant so an excised piece of differentiated tissue or organ is regarded as an explant the explant may be taken from any part of the plant body like leaf apical meristem bud stem root sterilization explant is surface sterilized to remove contaminants with minimal damage to plant cells then inoculation sterilized explant is inoculated on culture medium under aseptic conditions then incubation cultures are then incubated in culture room where appropriate conditions of light temperature and humidity are provided for successful culturing subculturing cultured cells are transferred to a fresh nutrient medium to obtain the plantlets sixth one acclimatization at this stage the in vitro plants are hardened the hardening is done gradually from high to low humidity and from low to high light intensity then lastly transfer of plantlets after hardening process the plantlets are transferred to an appropriate substrate like sand peat compost etc now the practical applications of tissue culture first one embryo culture it is a technique of cultivating an embryo under aseptic conditions or a nutrient medium the method can be divided into two applications one is performed with mature embryos and helps mainly in shortening the period of germination by overcoming seed dormancy it is an effective technique employed to test the viability of the seeds the other is performed with immature embryos and is called early embryo rescue the purpose of this application is to grow embryos that would otherwise have been aborted in some interspecific and intergeneric crosses the endosperm fails to develop and causes the abortion of embryo these embryos can be rescued by culturing them on artificial nutrient medium until they are fully developed and able to germinate this is the diagrammatic representation of embryo culture
protoplast fusion. The technique involves the fusion of protoplast of two different genomes followed by the selection of desired somatic hybrid cells and regeneration of hybrid plants. Somatic hybridization is an important tool of plant breeding and crop improvement by the production of interspecific and intergeneric hybrids. It is achieved by protoplasm fusion technique. Protoplast fusion provides an efficient means of gene transfer with desired trait from one species to another and has an increasing impact on crop improvement. Leaves are the suitable cell source because mesophyll cells have relatively thin walls which are readily degraded. In vitro fusion of protoplast help in overcoming the barriers of sexual incompatibility in hybrid plants. Schematic representation of production of hybrid plant via protoplast fusion. Isolation of protoplast. Fusion of protoplast of different genomes. Selection of hybrid. Culture of hybrid cell, then obtaining hybrid plants. Haploid plant production through anther and microspore culture technique. It is the production of homozygous plants through anther and microspore cultures. Haploid production through pollen culture has been referred to as androgenesis. The haploidy technology has now become an integral part of plant breeding programs by speeding up the production of inbred lines and overcoming the constraints of seed dormancy and embryo non-viability. In haploid plant cells, plants with lethal genes are easily eliminated from the gene pool. Through haploid culture, homozygous diploid or polyploid plants can be produced, which may be valuable in plant breeding. Production of haploids shortens the time for inbreeding of for superior hybrid genotypes. This is the diagrammatic representation of haploid plant production using anther culture as well as pollen culture methods. Thank you for watching the video.